Hello guys, welcome to Sport Hub where today I'll look at the embarrassing defeat of the Chicago Fire Nail 4. Now, as a Fire fan, I am mad. We are third seed compared to six seed Red Bulls. On top of that, we are at home, which means a lot in the MLS. It was also a single elimination game, so it would be e even easier, right? But no, the Fire defied all odds and lost Nail 4. Let's start with the first 10 minutes of the match. The Red Bulls scored in minute 7 from an amazing through ball. However, Bradley Wright Phillips wouldn't have scored if Campbell Hop and Giao Mira did a simple job of marking him. Remember how garbage Richard Sanchez was when they played the Dynamo in the last game of the season? Well, it looks like Matt Lampson isn't any better as he didn't seem to have any effort in saving that shot. Oh my gosh, if you didn't think the first goal was poorly conceded, then look at this one. In fact, UMLS historians can count this one one of the worst conceded goals in MLS playoff history. It wasn't a good cross from Tyler Adams. In fact, it went right to Juninho's feet, but it appeared that he was picking grass because some way, somehow, Kill Justin spread right past him and scored. Who gets to say they conceded a goal like that? It just goes to show that Juninho was definitely a wasted loan. A comeback was then banished in minute 70 when Daniel Royer scored a tapping goal. You had four guys just needing to cover that one defender, but they can't even do that. Another crappy goal was then scored to make it 4-0, and the fire had what you could call the worst performance of the entire season. So, how did this happen? Let's start with the center backs, Johan Kappelhoff and Giao Mira. They're in bad of a center back partnership, but they played absolute chicken scraps in this game. They, f they failed to push back, and they also failed to recognize the crosses from the wing. Things like these will see you eliminated in the playoffs. When they didn't push back, only Juninho was there to stop Kill Justin, but he miraculously failed to even touch the ball. They caused some of the goals to happen as they made other guys fill in for them, and it was all such a mess. After that was midfield, specifically Juninho. It was really stupid to start him over World Cup winner Bastian Schweinsteiger, especially considering his performances. In playoff games like these, you need to start Basti, at least to secure the win. Okay, I'd be fine if Juninho started, but the fact that he got subbed on in the 80th minute instead of the 30th minute was a very stupid move by Velchko Panovic. Also, it was them to start Mihailovic. He's way too young and inexperienced, and he doesn't show much quality. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the changes that need to be made. First, we should let Juninho go back to Tijuana. You can consider him a wasted loan. He didn't get much starts, but when he did, he didn't show much quality. He also probably has more cards than goals, which also shows his bad discipline. He's not in his glory days like he was with the LA Galaxy. This isn't in order, by the way. But nextly, they need to get the goalkeeper situation sorted. We're in great hurt now that we've sold Sean Johnson. And signing goalkeeper from the USL or South America probably won't fix that either. Jorge Bava should go as he seems too old to make any saves. We need a permanent goalkeeper, but that might make Matt Lampson unhappy. He might leave and Richard Sanchez can be our backup. That's fine. After all, you can't judge Ri Richard Sanchez as he only played one match. We should also sign a defender. Xiao Mira and Johan Kapelhoff can always perform, so signing another asset as a center back will only improve our defense. I mean, we need it sometimes. And with our amazing fullbacks, we can have one of the strongest defenses in the Eastern Conference. And lastly, sign a winger. We need a assignment already to strengthen our attack. However, a comms contract is about to expire, and he said he has no intentions of coming back. There's also lots of wingers we could sign. We don't have to look in the MLS. Instead, we could look at League 2, League 1, or even the championship. But whatever we do, I want you guys to need it even more with the comms future departure. Anyway, that's the match recap and the changes that need to be made for the Chicago Fire. This is Sport Hub, and I am out.